Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back. I am Chris the Girl. This is my fiance Tampa J along for the ride today Hello. because we are going shopping. We're heading inside of Target, one of my most favorite places to shop, of course. And uh, we're gonna be checking out some different items in there than what we have typically done in the past. I want to look specifically at their women's clothing section as well as the swimsuits and stuff like that. As I have mentioned many times on the channel before, and obviously, you know, if you just look at your calendar, spring is coming up here very, very soon, as well as summer, warmer times are ahead of us, I promise. And um, it's time to get prepared for that stuff. So I kind of want to look at their swimsuits and um, you know, their, their spring wardrobe is out. So I don't know, we're just gonna do a peek -see. I do love looking at Target clothes. I don't do it very, I don't know if I've ever done it really on the channel, but uh, we're gonna focus on that today as well as some other extra stuff around Target. There's some things that we need to pick up, some um, personal care items and whatnot that I need to grab too. So. We're just doing a good old fashioned Target shopping trip here. Thank you so much for clicking on the video and let's go in. Okay, we've made it inside of Target. We're also gonna take a look at the Bullseye Playground. Always like to check this out whenever we walk inside and just see what new items they have in here. They are well stocked for Easter in here and seeing St. Patrick's Day over in the corner as well. Check out these. Really adorable little bunny carrots, carrot bunnies. Some kind of horrible hybrid of that. It's pretty adorable though. The bunnies have officially taken over Target. Look at these really cute little candles. Little bunny candles. There's a white one, a pink one, pretty blue one. More little bunnies, little tabletop bunnies in here. All the colors of the Easter rainbow, of course. We also got some little chickens down there. Those are pretty cute. And I've seen photos of these. They are pretty darn cute. These little peep sippy cups. Oh yeah. If you like peeps, this might be your thing. I don't even like peeps and I'm considering cool. buying them because they they're just colors. really dang cute. A few more Easter things over here. Some little pillows down at the bottom. This glass set is pretty cool. There's a clear one and there is a green one. Also, these trays are quite nice too. I like the flower print around the around the border there. That's definitely a year-round piece for me, not just spring or Easter. And depending on how you eat your eggs, this could be this could be something you might like. These little egg holders shaped like tulips. Super cute. I guess you could use them to also hold your decorated Easter eggs. If that's your jam. If it's not your jam, you could buy these because they've got eggs in here and they're very shiny. Or peep related things. The peeps are making, they're sinking their claws into our, our merchandise here. There's some sidewalk chalk. Peep sidewalk chalk. These are pretty cute. And just a look here at some of the St. Patrick's Day stuff in here. That disco ball, St. Patrick's leprechaun sippy cup you've been looking for. They got it here at Target. So these really cute tiny little pinatas. And this is also pretty adorable. It's a hand fan, but it's in the shape of a pineapple. That actually would be uh, that actually would be quite useful. This is kind of an interesting hmm. find. This is a quote unquote novelty drinkware in the shape of a uh, of a camera. Here's the little sippy part in there. Yep, they've got their spring stuff front and center. Look at all of these bright colors, pinks and limes and blues and oranges and such. I do like these tank tops. They feel pretty darn soft, $10 each. And being here in Florida, you can't really, you truly cannot have enough tank tops and warm weather items, so. I don't know, these are pretty cool. I do like the colors. These dresses here are $20 each. And they are pretty light, which is nice. Maybe you could wear them as like a swimsuit cover or something like that. I don't know how I feel about them though, to be quite honest. I don't I don't know if this is quite quite my jam. They also have these shorts in the same print. 
for $15. Again, a very nice light material, which I do like. And they have these tops. These I kind of like a little bit more. Also, apparently Target sells Levi's now, which is pretty darn interesting. Personally, never owned a pair of Levi's. They've always been a little bit too much out of my price range, but uh, I've heard good things, have heard good things. These rib knit dresses are super cute too. I do like the style of that. I, once again, living in Florida, I have a very, very hard time buying long sleeved items because there's just not that many months out of the year where we can, we can get a significant amount of use for them, in my opinion. Also beyond jeans, they have some Levi's shirts in here, which I actually do really like, but again, it's just, it's a little bit more expensive than I would like to pay $60 for this shirt. I mean, it's cool, but is it $60 cool? I don't know. They have this top in here too that is pretty darn cute. But again, $60, I don't know about, I just don't know about that. Target's added a lot of like denim stuff, I've noticed. I don't know if I can pull off an all denim thing, but I do like how this um, jumpsuit looks. I've always liked jumpsuits. I always feel like I never look good in them personally, so I just don't buy them. But um, I'm kind of thinking maybe we could do like a clothing try on thing. We can go inside of, Lord help me, we can go inside of the fitting room, try on some different outfits and clothes here in the store, something I literally never, ever, ever do. But I thought it might make for a little bit more of an interesting experience here than us just looking at the clothes on the rack. We should actually try them on and see what they look like. So I think this might be my, my first pick. And never mind because all they have is a size two and then size zeros and double zeros and look i'm not the biggest person in the world but i'm definitely not a size two so oh well we'll just have to we'll just have to keep our eyes open in the future okay here is one that is black and it is a size small so you may or may not fit but we have a better chance at this than i think the other one so We'll give this one a shot. Yeah, the only thing with spring is that all the colors are so bright and happy. There's no black in here. Where's the black stuff? Come on now. In all seriousness though, I do kind of like this top here. Okay, I found some black stuff. It does have like a pattern on it, which I don't know how I feel about. I'm so super picky with my clothes, by the way. This is gonna be very, very, it's gonna become very apparent very quickly here, but um, I don't know, it's at least black. This top is kind of cute. I do like that. And I do usually look for like crop tops and stuff like that because once again, it's Florida, it's freaking hot. And that that's like the only way to survive in my opinion. And I want to see how much these shorts are. $20. Mm, that's okay. It's a little bit more expensive than I would want to purchase for this sort of thing. But I was just thinking, you know, when spring, summer comes around, me spending time outside, probably sun tanning and all that good stuff. And I love after a day outside putting on some sweats and some sweat shorts. Sure sound really nice. These are super soft too. So I'm just like envisioning that in my brain with these. And that just sounds like perfection. I will say this though, these are like super, super, super soft. So if you want like a really, really soft zip up sweater, this could be your jam. These are $30, $30 each and they do have a lot of really pretty colors in here. I sure do like the denim stuff personally. Again, I, I don't feel like I can pull it off, but I like how it, I like the idea of it, I guess I should say. Like I like the idea of this with like some leggings or whatever, like that just looks, that just seems super, super comfy to me. There's a few more of those ribbed dresses. You know, I like immediately am looking at the black ones. I already have like a couple of long black maxi dresses just like this so not really looking to grab on oh they have like a mid-length one in here 
very nice. But uh, yeah, I'm not really looking to, to grab one per se. Just wanted to point out that these are so great and so versatile. I love like throwing on a uh, like a t-shirt on top of it too sometimes just to be different. I don't know. These are just really nice. So Tampa J was also flabbergasted at the fact that Target has Levi's. Levi's. Someone who has always bought Levi's. That's pretty convenient. Yeah. So that, you grab I, some? Yeah, I've noticed they're, they're a tad bit cheaper than where I usually get them, which okay. is usually like Kohl's or JC Penny. Uh-huh. I'm gonna give them a, I'm gonna try them on. I don't yeah. know if I'm gonna get them. But okay. I, cool. since I was a kid my mom always bought me yeah. Levi's, mostly secondhand ones. But yeah. They were a lot fair. cheaper when I was a kid. We're talking like late eighties. Right. So I've recently learned that bodysuits here are actually kind of amazing. It took me a very, very long time to get used to that fact, but I think I am I think I'm a believer now. And this is kind of a, this is an interesting one. They kind of, they only have white. There is a black one, but it's not, it's not in my size. So I'm not going to be getting this because I just, to be honest, all I envision are sweat stains in this. Like, again, like I can't emphasize this enough. I live in Florida, so we sweat a lot here. So that's not happening. But uh, these are, these are pretty cute and they're definitely very, very soft too. Really wish they had a black one in my size, dang it. One of my favorite things to grab from Target when I can find good ones are cloth shorts. I live in these things during the summer months. They're so comfy and uh, just a lot nicer than jean shorts in my opinion. And I really like these, I like the pattern on them. Got a lot of cool stuff in here. Like for example, I like this really long green maxi dress. That is actually really cool. I very much like that a lot. I don't know if, I, again, I, I don't know if I can pull it off, but it's just really neat. I don't know, it's just really neat. It's different. This is a nice dress over in here. It feels very lightweight and like breathable and it's black, hooray, and it has pockets, which is pretty dang amazing. $25, that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. You could do a lot with this. You could definitely layer this up or just wear it as it is. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try this one on. All right, gonna look at a few more clothing items and then I think I'm gonna go ahead and try on all the stuff that I picked out and then we're gonna go look at the swimwear. I always like taking a look at the graphic tees and such that they have because they sometimes have some really interesting ones. I notice a lot of companies cashing in, I guess, on like the national parks are cool sort of thing. But check it out, Badlands, South Dakota. I've actually been there. <laughs> it's a beautiful spot. I don't know if I'm gonna get this shirt though. There's a pretty cute Alice in Wonderland. I think this is a sweatshirt. Oh, look at the, look at the cute uh, Winnie the Pooh sweatshirt in here. That's pretty adorable as well. Yeah, I guess, look, I don't like follow up on fashion or whatever. I just wear whatever I wanna wear and uh etc etc but i guess these are this is like i don't want to say in style i don't know but all this stuff is like really really soft is what i'm trying to say all of this stuff is like super super soft so i guess that's a thing now these crop tops are also pretty darn cute i again i like the color i like the brown color and um it's 15 dollars which is a little, a little more expensive than i would i would want to pay but it is pretty cute these shirts here are great because they are only five dollars if you're looking for a basic crop top tee definitely definitely come here to target and and grab them i've grabbed quite quite a few of them from target before sort of hard to tell but this cami is so small who is fitting into this a child this is this is in the women's department not the children's department but it's so tiny i know it's the xxs but still holy moly anyway i do like it because this reminds me of this sort of thing that i would have bought and worn when i was like in high school these were like really popular so it's it's definitely giving me those vibes but i'm not fitting in an xx Yes, that's for sure. If you want somewhat of a Killstar dupe, this is totally giving me Killstar vibes. 
right here, more or less. I have a dress that looks somewhat like this with like the lace down at the bottom here. This is pretty cool. And they have a white one here too, if you don't wanna be totally goth and wishy. I don't know why you wouldn't, but you know. Yeah, this is, this, this ain't bad. Crazy to me how much fashion like repeats itself all the time because again, like, Back in the 90s, these were like all the thing, right? Like the big chunky like cargo skirts, but you know, the, the, the pants as well. Like this is totally something we would have worn in the 90s and now it's back in fashion again. Got a lot of Tampa Bay race stuff over in here. Tis the season. Yeah. I like this puzzle. Yeah. It's got a lot there's, of Florida stuff Tampa in there. Jay. Yep. <laughs> That's so cool. Game day at the zoo. That is adorable. Actually never seen so many baseball stuff in a Target before. It's I guess maybe because it is it like out. literally the beginning of the season, but this is a lot. This is a lot. I like like this. Yeah, that's the old school. Logo. Yeah, that's a cool shirt. The Rays aren't your thing. They've got Gators stuff. They've got USF stuff. Uh, the Buccaneers. And look at this. They even have a soft, squishy Raymond pillow. But no DJ Kitty. So what are we even doing here, folks? <laughs> what are we even doing here? Nobody likes Raymond. Just kidding. All right, definitely have a good amount of stuff here that we can try on, so let's head to the fitting room. Okay, this is literally like my least favorite thing in the entire world, trying on clothes in the fitting room. That's okay, they've upgraded it. Look at these lights, it looks amazing in here. So maybe we'll actually look good in these clothes, I don't know, we will see. Here is the jumpsuit. What do we think? I like the back. I think that's really cool. It fits decent. Kind of wish it was a little longer, but I think it's okay. What do we think? Do I look stupid? Do I look okay? I kind of like it, I'm not gonna lie. It's comfy. Here is the dress with the pockets. This is quite nice. I do like it. I think this would be a great like layering dress. This one was 25, so not too bad. Um, yeah, I like it. Nothing wrong with it. Good basic black dress. All right, I know these things don't necessarily go together, but we're trying them on together right now. I like the top. It's actually a little tight. I could almost go with the next size up. The pants are definitely, the shorts rather, are definitely too big. Uh, so I could go a size down on these, but I do like them. They're comfy, probably because they are a size too big, but nonetheless, I think they'd be pretty comfy. They've got pockets, that's very important. And I don't know, I like the pattern on them. So I think these are, I think these are both a maybe. This top here super 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 tight and thus not very not very comfy i think even if i went a size up it would still not be very comfy i feel very restricted here in the arms so not a fan here's that black cami with the the lace around the edge here actually went up to a size medium because it's so small um and I like it. This, this fits nicely. It's it's very comfy, and again, it's kind of giving me that uh, those middle school, high school vibes, which you know, I'm not gonna complain about. Okay, finally, this cami here that is like super soft. I will say it is comfy in the sense that it, it is definitely very soft for sure. But it is so soft that it's like riding up like a lot like I feel like I'm gonna be constantly pulling it down and pulling it down and pulling it down throughout the day and even though it is soft it still feels very like compressed like I feel compressed in here so that's not super comfy to me so I don't know I think I think this might be a pass as well and then I just grabbed the, the striped shirt because I don't know I just kind of wanted to try it on I think this is probably how I would wear it if I were to wear it. 
but I'm probably gonna pass on this too, to be honest. All right, tried on all the stuffs. I picked out what I liked. I'll show you what I'm gonna get at the end of this good old fashioned haul. But next I wanna take a look at the swimwear. Currently, it's 30% off. So I feel like this is a good time to kind of check things out, scope out the scene and uh, finally take a look yeah, at the swimwear. I am personally hoping to basically live at the water parks this summer. I have the sports package uh, with my annual pass at Disney so I can get into the water parks for free. Uh, we still haven't made it over to Blizzard Beach yet so definitely wanna do that soon. Um, now whether or not those, that will, those will turn into videos I can't really say. We may do like one or two, but I want to spend time at the water parks, enjoying myself and uh, getting some sun. So we gotta have the swimsuits, folks. Like that's obviously like, that's so important. So we're gonna look at the swimsuits and see, I don't know, maybe they'll have something. And by that, I mean, you know, obviously we are definitely going to find something. They always have super, super cute swimsuits in here. I really like this one the more and more I look at it it's very bright and colorful I know that's not uh you know been doing a lot of the black and stuff lately yes but I like the fact that swimsuits are bright and colorful I'm not mad at that and I like these colors black and pink I actually really like this top here Ooh, the back is interesting actually it's very interesting in general usually this is not something that I go for per se but I do like this. If you want to cover up a little bit more, check this out. They have it in like a in like a shirt. I mean, it's it's definitely one that you could wear into you know into the water, into the pool and such. So it's definitely an option. Another one. We're finding all of the striped uh, stuff here. You know we like it on the channel after all. This I believe is yeah. This is a top. So again, if you're looking to, you know, cover up a little bit more, but still sort of have kind of that goth, witchy, alternative dark vibe, this could be a good one for you. I do like this a lot. It's really cute. Just do a little sweep in here for you, some of these, some of these swimsuits. You know, I do like the idea of having like a, a red one piece. It's very Baywatch, right? I do have two piece red swimsuits though. And I do like these, and usually this is just what I end up doing, is just a very simple bikini like this, to be honest. I can be very boring sometimes. And since we're talking about styles and fashion coming back from like the 90s and such, these butterfly clips take me back too. I know this isn't a new thing. I, I know these have been around for, for quite some time, but just seeing the butterfly clips, it reminds me so much of my childhood because I lived lived in butterfly clips. Ooh, these are really cute actually. These are Halloween colors. Another thing that I'm gonna kind of be looking out for here too is like some cover-up options as well. I don't know how I feel about the pants. I know this has been a thing. I don't think I really, I don't think the, that's gonna be my thing. But uh, it is an option, of course. I see a mesh option in a shirt here too, which is cute. Look, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it's not cute. I just don't think it's my thing, that's all. We're stripes. We're on the lookout for the, for the stripes. That's pretty cute. I like the, the material on this too. Truly there are so many different options and so many different colors. Oh my goodness. Whatever your favorite color is, I almost guarantee you they have a swimsuit for you somewhere. This cover up here could be a decent Killstar dupe as well because I remember seeing that they had a cover up on their website that was relatively similar to this, which is pretty cool. This one is $28. These ones are nice here. Again, I, I very, very much like this color, this like kind of camel brown sort of color. And this is super, super comfy. As well. Hmm. This is ooh, fifteen dollars. 
plus 30% off. Okay, we may have a real and true winner here. Unfortunately though, they don't have any of the bottoms in my size. Dang it, so I might just get the top, spoiler alert, and then just keep look, just keep looking back, just keep looking back and seeing if they have my size in the bottoms. Shoot. And these mesh cover-ups here, are, I think they're kind of cute too. I do like them. These ones are $20. There's a black one and a white one. If you want to be really fancy, they've got one with some fringe at the bottom. This is a cover-up too. Don't worry, it's a cover-up as well, but... I don't it's I guess it just depends on like how extra do you want to be how extra are you at the pool or at the beach or whatever because to me this is just like this is pointless like what am I what am I doing with this on you know what I mean but uh I definitely understand yeah if you want like a little extra like something then you would put this on over top but I don't know I guess I'm just too practical maybe for these things I don't know Easter is in full swing over in here We've moved on from the clothes, by the way. Gotta get a few more items, uh, personal care items and stuff like that. Okay, so we recently became adults again and I got us a toaster. Not that long ago, we've been going without a toaster for so long. And you know what? Pop-Tarts sound really good. I haven't looked at Pop-Tarts uh, in a while. The creator of Pop-Tarts recently passed away. Oh, rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. Personally, my favorite Pop-Tarts are the brown cinnamon sugar yeah. ones because Classic. they are good cold as well as warm. And it's the only Pop-Tart, in my opinion, that is good cold and not warm. Pop-Tarts on the bus. Yeah, the brown sugar oh, cinnamon cool. ones are the best. But if we're talking warm Pop-Tarts here, to me, nothing can beat good old s'mores and I think that might be what I'm gonna grab strawberry yeah yeah you like the classic strawberry yeah I those are good lot. yeah that that was my brother's favorite he always like wanted the strawberry the I like too. the blueberry the better too. all right decisions were made decisions were made oh, no decisions were made here too <laughs> Mickey I'm so sorry someone left you by the Doritos he knows the snack yeah, that's right. You know, Doritos were made in Disneyland. They were. One of the things I'm looking to get is some body wash, a bat of body wash. I usually like using Native. I am a fan of their body washes particularly, and check it out. They've got their Girl Scout scents out. The cookies, that is, at least. We just bought some Girl Scout cookies the other day. So one thing that I've been wanting to try and that I've noticed people are really enjoying or at least buying a lot of is this Therabreath stuff. It's a uh, Listerine and I always pass by this and I'm like that's really cool that this looks really cool like it just looks cool it's a cool branding you know what I mean it's like it's a cool packaging and I've always wanted to try it and apparently everybody else has thought the same thing so I think I'm actually gonna give it a shot I don't you don't really need Listerine or at least that was my understanding of it it doesn't really help you out that much but uh i don't know i still still kind of want to give this a shot i'm looking all over for one of the things that i wanted to try and i found the mini version of it saltair i think that's how that's pronounced this is a serum body wash and i've heard heard good things about this wish that there was a bigger size i'm gonna keep looking but uh i'll just hang on to this just in case we can at least try it out. Maybe it would be best to just buy a small one anyway, just so we can try it out, make sure the hype is real. Okay, it's checkout time. Here we go, about to drop quite a lot of coinage, not gonna lie. Well done, the damage is done. I'm gonna show you what I got in just a sec. We have made it back home. Let me show you all what I got, or at least some of the stuff that I got, so uh first of all right in front of me here i did get the little mini size of the body wash i'm definitely excited to try this out sounds really really nice um a serum body wash i don't know it sounds great to me so if i do like it hopefully we can find the the bigger size of it someday in the future also grab these last minute item at the checkout area some clorox wipes a to-go pack we go a lot of places 
Um, and I've been wanting these for a little while just to throw inside of my, throw inside my bag. It's not a, it's not a snack. It's not a snack, Bella. It sounds crinkly and like a pet treat, but I swear it's not a snack. Additionally, I did grab the, uh, the mouthwash here. So I'm excited to give this a try, see if the hype is real. I don't know if people, I don't know if people are actually enjoying this or if they're just buying it because it looks cool. Um, but I guess, I don't know, guess we're gonna find out. Also, I did grab the S'mores Pop-Tarts as well. They just sounded really, really good. And we can, uh, we can finally use the toaster the way that God intended by putting in some S'mores Pop-Tarts. Also grabbed some makeup um, sponges because I've been needing some new ones. These are the brand that I've been getting for quite a while now. I love this brand. Um, they sell it at Target. I didn't show it in the video, but um, just just grab them. Uh, so this is good. My my beauty brushes are like really, really, they're literally falling apart. Also, the butterfly hair clips. I liked these in particular because again, they are Halloween colors, orange and, and black, as well as the other miscellaneous colors in there. So. Decided to go back to my childhood, grab some butterfly clips. I also did grab a brow pencil because the brow, the eyebrow pencil that I have right now is literally on its last breath, like there's nothing left of it. Um, this isn't usually what I grab, but I just wanted to get it because it's, this is kind of a necessary thing for me is, uh, is a brow pencil, so. Just went ahead and grabbed it. I'm sure this is gonna be just as good as what I've been using. And then finally, clothing wise, I got the top of the swimsuit. Again, they didn't have a bottom in my size, so we're just gonna have to keep going back and keep our fingers crossed that we find my size in there. Um, but I grabbed the top because I really, really like it. And worst comes to worst, we can always just pair it with a black bottom, right? So. Um, yeah, I, I like this swimsuit a lot. Like I said, in, I thought the price was really good, $15. That's not too bad. And so yeah, I'm excited. And then I also did get the cami, this one with the lace on there. Again, we're kind of, this paired with the butterfly clips is gonna bring me right back to my childhood. So there you go. I'm excited about this. I think this is gonna be a great one to layer with other stuff as well as just wearing on its own when it gets super, super hot out. Debated on this one. I went back and forth on it because it's not usually the sort of thing that I would go for, um, but it's black and white. It kind of gave me like, I don't know, goth on vacation vibes. <laughs> Um, so I don't, I, I don't, I don't mind that. I, I kind of, I kind of like the idea of that. And I thought that this was super cute on, it was pretty darn comfortable. And, um, so yeah, I think once again, this is going to be great for the summer months coming up here very soon. Also really did like the shorts too. And I was, this is another one I was kind of going back and forth on. And sometimes when I'm not really sure if I want to get it or not, it all comes down to how much is it? How much is, does it cost? Uh, the price is usually the deciding factor on me on whether or not I'm gonna buy something. And these shorts were only $15. So I absolutely grabbed them. I went a size down and um, got these. So I'm, again, I'm very excited. The, I like the pattern, I like the color of them. I think that there's a lot of tops that I can pair with this that's gonna go well with these. So another pair of linen shorts in my repertoire can't go wrong with that and then finally i did go ahead and get the jumpsuit because i liked how it looked i think it's i think it's just uh, it's really comfy first of all so i like that i love the cutout on the back here too i think that that's really cool really fun and I, I, like I said, I, I like jumpsuits. I like the idea of jumpsuits and I kind of want to get more into that game as well. So this is going to be a good starter one, I think. So I'm, I'm excited to wear this in the future, hopefully soon, um, especially as the weather keeps getting nicer and nicer out here in Florida. And yeah, that's everything that I got. Quite a lot of stuff. I figured that was gonna be the case. It is a 
a Target video after all. Anytime I go to Target, no matter what, I always buy a heck of a lot more stuff than I actually wanted or needed. Um, but that's Target for you. If you go in there and you don't grab like a bunch of other things, um, then I don't know, you're, you're doing Target wrong, basically. So anyway, I hope that you all enjoyed this type of video. It's a little bit different from what we've been doing. Um, but I thought that this was a lot of fun. If you want to see more stuff like this, where maybe we, um, maybe look more on the clothing, on the fashion side of things, on the health and beauty side of things, definitely let me know in the comments below because I can do more stuff like this. In fact, I have several other ideas of things that we can do along these lines already. Um, so yeah, just let me know if that's something that, that you want to see. And uh, thank you all again for watching. I really, really appreciate it. We have a lot more adventures coming up here, as I always say. And we will see you all a little bit later. Bye-bye, everybody. Happy shopping out there. And into the washer we go. Always wash your clothes after you buy them, folks. Always wash your clothes after you buy them. Thank you.